What's up guys, Chaos Cheese here, and guess what just arrived in the mail? If you guessed my new PC, you were correct. So let's get this bad boy unboxed. Um, and yeah, then we can set it up. All right, so we've got our computer here. We're just gonna bust it open. Um, been waiting for a couple weeks on this. It's uh, from CyberPower. Uh, they've been great. Customer service has been fantastic. Um, but you know, they have to build everything, they have to test it, and I assume they've done a good job. Um, obviously, we'll find out here as we unbox it. Um, but yeah, they were super helpful, answered all my questions that I had during the process. Uh, I had a couple additions. Uh, I didn't initially have them insert the foam on the inside of the PC, but after a few videos, uh, watching other people get PCs with loose ram sticks, um, Decided, yeah, I wanted I wanted that extra protection, so I, I contacted them and had them insert that. So we've got the box open here. It's a very large box, as you can see. Um, added this nice foam in here. Um, it's it seems like it's pretty sturdy. It's not, I mean, not super thick, uh, but it's it's close, pretty close foam. Uh, and the box honestly is in pretty good shape. So good job on, to uh, for UPS on this. So we've got our keyboard here. Ooh, these are actually, these, are, these boxes got a little bit dented up. Um, our keyboard here, uh, yeah, this box actually took some, yeah, as you can see there, it's it's got some dentage there, so it, it took some, t took a beating a little bit. Um, hopefully it's not damaged at all. If it is, you know, we'll send in a claim, get a refund on the, on the keyboard itself. Um, yeah, so inside doesn't have much cushioning here. Um, hopefully the cardboard did its job and protected it in during the shipping. Uh, so yeah, this is CyberPower's like RGB gaming uh, keyboard. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's it's damaged at all. As you can see, it's yeah, it seems like it's in good shape. Uh, just a USB keyboard uh, you know it is what it is uh, I think it's I think it's RGB USB you know your standard keyboard Put that off to the side um, I also got their Zotac mouse I believe no okay so this is oh they included some thermal paste in here okay Interesting. They included the thermal paste. This is the power power cable for the for the um, yeah for the computer. Oh, actually, you know what? No. So that was just their basic keyboard that comes with the computer. It's really nice, but I don't think it's RGB. That's actually a solid keyboard. Um, I'm impressed with that. Uh, I'm gonna put this stuff off to the side because I'm not 100% sure what it is. Some thermal paste. Um, yeah, so it looks like the cooling mount to the to the PC. I'm not sure if I'm not sure why that that stuff's on there. Uh, we'll find out. But yeah, so I actually upgraded to their gaming uh, keyboard here, as you can see. This box isn't damaged at all, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, it's a little bit more robust, and this one is RGB. Uh, very nice keyboard. Got this nice high density foam here on the end. Yeah, this one, this one's pretty sick. It's got a nice, got a nice rest here that's kind of movable. Um, I don't know if you can hear this from here. Nice mechanical keys. And this one, it definitely is RGB. It's nice form. Uh, we'll get a close up of all this stuff later as we're unboxing but yeah this is solid uh metal frame great keys i think these are reds uh red keys so or red switches sorry uh, keep that for later um I need to just put all my boxes and stuff on the ground here all right also comes with wait a second 
There are two mice here, and they appear to be the same thing. They're both the M1131 gaming mice. Um, may have been a mistake on the order. Uh, I know I contacted them and said, I would also like the mouse. Uh, I originally in my order, I didn't upgrade to the, the gaming mouse, but it was a, they were having a deal on it, and I said, you know what, might as well. Um, yeah, this is their M1131 mouse. I don't think this is the standard one. It's got, yeah, it's got variable um, sensitivity on it, and also like the aiming key that slows down your sensitivity during FPS games and stuff like that. Um, pretty nice mouse. It's not bra a braided cable or anything like that. <sighs> Part of me thinks this is their basic mouse and that they accidentally sent me two of them um, rather than one of the upgraded ones. We'll have to see if there's... Ah, there doesn't look like there's anything else in the box. Again, I think these are their basic mice. They're not their upgraded ones. So that's the same thing. I'm not going to unbox that right now. Probably end up reselling that. So I'm going to get the computer out. Uh, put the big box on the ground, and then we will resume. Just a quick note, they've got this nice, uh, thick, high-density foam in the bottom. Um, I'm really impressed with their packaging. It's been great. All right, so we've got our computer out here, and we are ready to start to actually unpack. All right, so computer's here. Where I put my scissors? Here they are. All right. And... The moment of truth and excitement. I've been waiting a while for this now. I ordered it, uh, well, it feels like a month ago. I'd have to check the exact date on that. They were having a really great sale for, um, I guess that was right before the Super Bowl. So yeah, it definitely hasn't been a month because the Super Bowl was in February. And it's just now the 18th. Um, yeah, exciting. Having trouble with this. They really take this look good. I've been super impressed with the packaging. Great job, Cyber Power. Um, yeah, honestly, fantastic job so far. Eh, whatever. Those later. All right, and here we go. Actually, gonna flip this over. I don't think it's gonna come out the other way. All right. Ooh, lots of static built up on that. Thankfully, it just came out on the phone itself. This is nice. Um, again, in the box. You're not getting like high density foam like was in the packaging box, but you really don't need it if that bigger box around it is packaged well. <sighs> yeah, here it is. I, I, I skimped a little bit on the case. Um, I really didn't care about RGB, so I didn't go RGB. Oh dear. <gasps> As I tilt it over and very, very near to drop it, that would be good. Pulling a Linus. All right, here we go. Get it out of the package here. Oh. Got it on inside. Oh, and it's back actually. All right. And there it is. There's the new machine. Man, there's a lot of static electricity set up. Uh, thankfully, we're not plugged in, so nothing should be hurting too bad. Um, yeah, so we've got our side panels here. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab the camera so we can get a little bit closer here. All right, so yeah, I went ahead and splurged. Uh, had them etch that on the side there. I think that looks really clean. Uh, I didn't go all tempered glass. 
Again, I kind of skimped on the case. I really didn't care about RGB that much. There are a few RGB things in here, but um, yeah, not very many. I think it's just the RAM. So they uh, tell you what to do here. Uh, carefully remove the protective foam before turning on. Uh, that's so the uh, machine doesn't, you know, burn itself up basically because there's no airflow in there. Um, most common cables are disconnected. I like that. They tell you which ones are going to disconnect maybe in shipping. Uh, they show you where to connect it. So not the motherboard up here, but the GPU down here, which ooh, look at that bezel. Nice and shiny. Uh, looks like we've got one HDMI, a couple display ports. Uh, and what's down there? It looks like three display ports on that. And that is a 2070. Oh, and it's also got USB-C. Uh, I didn't notice that. That is an RTX 2070. Uh, anything else powering your system? Yeah, telling you to switch on your on your power supply first and then press the power button uh, after you plug it in, obviously. And look at that. Nice and clean. So again, uh, I went ahead and got the foam inside. Um, I, I've seen just too many videos of people getting boxes with RAM coming loose and other things like that. And I just didn't want to risk it. So take off the tabs here. Um, and then this should just slide back. I'm going to put you back up there. Uh, and so you can see me unbox. Okay, that's better. I think this panel is just going to slide off here. Ah, uh, there it goes. That comes off. Plastic on this side. Oh, yeah. Peeling it feels great. Love peeling the plastic off the new hardware. Put that down. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Uh, so they put this expandable foam in here. So just nothing moves around. It looks like the hard drive base did come loose. So that's good to know. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's off the tracks down here. Uh, so that means it did bang around a little bit in shipping. It looks like both of my RAM sticks are seated well. Uh, that's encouraging. Man, that foam's really in there. Which I guess that's what you want. All right. Yeah, I'm just reseating my, uh, let me grab you here. As you can see, these trays here came loose during shipping, which I mean, they're not like incredibly robust. So I wouldn't expect anything different, but let me see if I can get these reseated. Man, that's tough. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to put you, well, before we do that, cause that's not a big deal. I would expect nothing less. Let's look at all the care that they put into this thing. Um, so uh, we're going to open up the back in a second and look at wiring. But look at the wires on the front. I mean, super clean. Um, yeah, just, I mean, incredible wiring. You really can't see much. Uh, I think there's two extra can uh, fan, case fans, excuse me, uh, which they just used, you know, whatever they had in store. At the moment, I think they're pretty cheap, but that's okay. I mean, just a little bit of added airflow. Oh, we've got our Enermax uh, cooler for the processor here. Um, so I'm assuming they included the, the extra paste from that because they used uh, their in-house paste or thermal paste on the processor. Uh, we've got our GeForce RTX 2070 here from MSI. Uh, they didn't specify who it was going to be from. I really like this shroud. This is beautiful. Um, wiring, again, is is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I mean, look, look at this thing. It is clean, guys. Very, very clean. We've got our RGB RAM here stuck in. It looks like I've got 
Okay, wow. This fan's actually covering up one of the one of the RAM slots in there. Uh, it's a huge fan. Uh, fan in the back here. Let's see. Underneath, I don't think we have any underneath fans, but as you can see, there's tons of clearance in this case. So, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Lots of airflow underneath. Um, and then our power supply. It's actually opened up in the back. I don't know if it has a has a fan or not. Um, never heard of this brand, ATNG. Uh, it's it, it's probably fine. Got an 80 plus on it, and it is an 1150. Hmm. Let's see. It is a 1,000 watt power supply. Uh, that was a free upgrade, so yeah. Again, look at these cables. Um, can't really see them very well. Need more light here. There you go, that's better. These cables are really beautiful. Uh, nicely braided. Yeah, everything looks really clean. Um, not sure which motherboard they used. Uh, something's dangling back there. I don't like the look of that. Just dangling, I don't know if you can see it. Really don't like the look of that. Not sure where that's from even. Huh. I'm not, I don't know. What are you? Uh, it just might be a closed loop or it might just be the RGB panel. Uh, that might be what it is, honestly. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, yeah, uh, let's open up the back, check out the wiring. Uh, I'm gonna reseat, reseat those trays while I'm at it. Okay, while the front was beautiful, the back tells another story. Um, so they probably didn't think I would open this up. They assume I'm just another consumer, which I mean, I am, uh, let's be honest. This is the first PC of like high-end gaming PC I've bought. But a lot of this, I mean, the, there should be way more zip ties in here. So see these little areas here? Those are meant to be running up like that vertically and zip tied. See kind of how these are. These are more zip tied to the machine. Uh, there's no crimping in the wires, which is good. Um, so nothing's too tight. But all of this, I mean, all of this is just chaos. Uh, that needs to be zip tied better. I don't even know how I'm gonna get it back in the box. Um, but, I mean, again, they're, they're probably assuming I'm not gonna open this up. Yeah, see, that could be zip tied there, that could be tighter, that could be zip tied there. Um, yeah, they're, they're assuming I'm not gonna open this up, that it's just gonna live back there, and it's not hurting anything, it's not gonna ruin the functionality at all. Um, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to set up my desk. Um, and yeah, I will, I'm, yeah, I'm going to do a video of me setting up my desk as well. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm impressed with CyberPower. They did a really good job. It looks great. I didn't even show you the front. There's the front. You can kind of see the fans in here. If they were RGB, you could see them better. But this, this is nice. That's like a nice filter for the front there. So you're not just going to have dust just, you know, sucking in there and, and going right into your machine. That filters it out nicely. Um, it looks great. I'm excited. Uh, I'm glad I went with CyberPower. They did a really good job building. The back was a little bit disappointing, but nothing I didn't expect with me just being another consumer. But overall, I'm excited. Ready to set it up. Anyways, that's it for the unboxing video. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, it's been a blast. I'm excited to boot it up. Uh, that video will be up Friday. Um, assuming I get this video up on Wednesday, I have to edit it a little bit, but should be able to do that. Uh, quickly. All that's to be said, thank you so much for joining me. This is Chaos. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to join next time when we set up my desk and move my PC up.